dot C uh, will contain elements 0, 1, 2, and 3. See if you can find C prime, the complement of set C. So go ahead and pause it, try that one out. Okay, welcome back. So the complement of set C, everything in our universal set other than 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 4 is in our universal set, but not in C. 5 is in our universal set, but not in C. 6, same thing. 7, same thing. 8, same thing. And 9 would be the last part of C complement. All right, so next we look at the intersection of sets. So the intersection of set A and set B is the set, so it is another set. It has to be in both A and B. So each element is in both A and B. Uh, so just a quick example, if A is 1, 2, 7, and 9, and B contains elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. A intersection B, set of elements that are in both lists at once. One is in A, one's not in B. Two is in A, two is also in B. That goes into the intersection. Seven is in A, seven's not in B. Nine is in A, nine is not in B. That's the end of our intersection. The union of two sets. Union of set A with set B is the set. So again, we're doing an operation on the sets. We're coming up with another set. So the union is a set of elements that are in set A, set B, or both. So for this one, A union B. So if it's in set A, I get to keep it. So I'll keep the 1, the 2, the 7, and the 9. If it's in set B, I'll keep it. 2, I already have it listed. I don't write it down twice. Uh, 4. I haven't listed that yet. 4 goes in the union. 6, I haven't listed that yet, but it's in set B. It goes in the union. 8 is also in our union. So anything that was in one set or the other set, or special case here, 2 was also in both sets. So the intersection, just things that they have in common. The union is everything, everybody included. One more short example. Our universal set for this next example. Now uh, we'll keep it small. We'll go one, two, and three. Uh, set A will contain elements two and three. What would a complement contain? So hopefully you figured out that that contains only one. So anything in the universal set not covered by set A would be the complement of A. So we'll start with A intersection, A complement. So intersection means things that are on both lists. 
So union or intersection, it is going to build a set. I don't see a two in this uh, complement. I don't see a three in this complement. They have nothing in common. But that's not anything really all that special about this small example. That will happen in general for any set with its complement. The intersection of a set and its complement has to be empty based on how we define the complement. The complement is everything in the universal set but the stuff in A. Uh, one other note here, a union A complement. Pause it for a second, see if you can create that list. Okay, welcome back. So hopefully your list contained one, two, and three. Notice that was also our universal set. And again, that also is coming from the definition of the complement, how we define finding elements of that. If you take any set and union it with its complement, you get the universal set then. You get the whole thing. Uh, so this should be enough to try the problems from this was, uh, again, as a reminder, section 1.2 and a reminder on uh, where to find those problems. Uh, Professor Anderson uh, puts all of the chapter's problems at the end of the chapter, not at the end of the individual section. So you'll have to flip to the end of chapter one to find the homework problems. And I would just try all of the one, two problems. And any of the ones that are false, make sure you can give me an explanation using symbols why they are false. All right, if you have any questions, get in touch with me. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.